Beautiful day for a short walk on the island of Portland. That's what's known as the Verne Citadel. Behind those green banks is a prison originally built for convicts who were going to carry the large lumps of stone down and build the breakwaters that created Portland Harbour. These days it's still a prison, but there's a rather nice cafe in it too, the Jailhouse Cafe. Well, I'm going inland and following what was once a tramway bringing stone from the quarries down to where it could be put on board boats to be taken, for instance, to London to build St Paul's Cathedral. See you further along this little path. Everywhere on Portland, it's stone, stone, stone. The arch of this bridge that carries the roadway above the track of the old tramway. It's a bit rough underfoot, you just have to watch out for stones to trip over. Otherwise it's a rather secretive, charming little path. See you further along. At this point the tramway goes on ahead, but uh, to the right we have another option which I'm going to follow and that is through a dark tunnel, literally into the heart of the quarry. It's not a very long tunnel. These days, some of the quarrying going on in Portland is in fact mining, so as to not disturb the land surface and the ecology. The stone is cut and hauled out from mines rather than the kind of open quarries that left results like this all over the island. Here's a spot where you can see all the strata of rock typical on this island which made for its fortune. Here's the su superficial layers, not much use for building but possibly for roads and things like that. And then going down deeper the real, highly valued Portland stone, which some of the great buildings of the world have been constructed. And now out into open country again. With quarry remains at the side. And a path ahead. Contrast, the walk takes us part of, past a bit of uh, definitely late 20th century, early 21st century quarrying. When I last came here, a lot of that pile of earth there wasn't present. That side of the quarry had been uh, cut right down deep and now they've obviously put spoil to fill it in again. Here's the kind of thing that would make my nephew so envious. I've seen a digger at operation. I don't know what they're doing here, widening the path, perhaps uh, fitting it for trucks. But Portland remains a working island, not just a wonderful place for holidaymakers to visit, and walkers especially. I was talking this morning to Rachel, who used to be a community development officer for the island, 
and now manages the jailhouse cafe in one of the prisons on the island and she was saying how she thinks of it as a pendant jewel on the Jurassic coast and you have to look at the map to see what she means. Here I am walking between wire fences. Apparently what's going to happen is this road's going to be used for a while to take big blocks of stone from one of the quarries down right down to the port to help build a new key, a new deep water key for cruise ships that uh, visit Portland. So there's always something new happening here. Now, why would these people be gathered on that ridge ahead of us? Let's have a look. People are here partly to see these lovely alpacas. And where are they from? What's they, the, the name of the business? Uh, Portland Alpacas. Portland Alpacas. And they're taking some people on holiday around part of the island. Yes, they are. Yeah, fantastic. And with an astonishing view of the whole of East Dorset and the sea. These are old engine sheds, apparently. Steam trains that used to haul loads of stone from the quarries down to build the breakwaters around Portland Harbour. It began in 1848 when the convicts were moved in and they provided 1,500 tonnes of stone a day. But their first job was to build their own cells. And some of those were in the area behind me, known as the Grove. It's got a church and all sorts of buildings behind high walls and razor wire fences because it's now a young offenders institution and Her Majesty's Prison Portland. Here's more of the view that you don't see if you're banged up behind the walls of the young offenders institution. Including the great Victorian harbour of Portland, one time one of the three main bases of the Royal Navy until they pulled out in the 1990s. Not open today, but here's another initiative from the Jailhouse Cafe people. They've got a farm shop and a cafe in two Dorset prisons. Great opportunity for some of the prisoners to get some work experience as part of their rehabilitation. We're going, trying our way through to a path along the side of what's called the Governor's Garden. This was a bit of a surprise. The Borstal Bowls Club, the sign says. Though another sign says, Portland Borstal Officers Bowls Club. Maybe it's open to everybody now. This seems to me to be a very typical Portland scene. Any number of small holdings on this island with a couple of horses or just three or four sheep in a field. Geese in one of the fields I passed just now. And then allotments with chickens picking around, looking for bugs. Funny thing is though, I don't think I've more than once ever seen anybody riding a horse on Portland, but lots of Portlanders love their horses and look after them. Looking back towards the sea and the way I've come. For today this is where most of the walk stops, because if you use an older Portland Ordnance Survey map it'll tell you the footpath through here. My more modern map says was path. Definitely in the past tense. I was wondering what this elegant gate once led to, so I asked a local. Apparently, it used to be Portland United Football Club, which has now been moved 300 yards up the road so that a quarry could be dug out behind these. Uh, once footballing walls. Finally today, here are the Olympic rings because the sailing, the windsurfing in the 2012 Olympics all happened down in Portland Harbour or in Weymouth Bay beyond it. And we'll also look round at the Chesil Beach stretching away back towards Othona in the west. Today's walk is really only the first half of a walk but I have to do uh, some urgent shopping for supplies, 
So I'm going home now. Second half of the walk, I'll show you another time. It includes a brilliant tea shop, fascinating church, and a sculpture quarry. Adios for the moment.